the static Kramer drive okay so here the point by point we'll discuss what is happening the first point is something but in Serbius drive it is speed control is possible below and above synchronous speed okay but here Kramer drive it allows operation only below synchronous speed okay this is the first point you have to mention let us go for the second point we have it is nothing but what is happening in this diagram so here the rotor you can see the slip ring induction motor or the wound rotor motor here we are taking from the rotor side correct inside part is the rotor outside part is stator so from rotor side a rotor slip power is converted whatever the rotor slip power is there that power is converted to dc by diode bridge so same thing is happening over here also if you observe this part this is the diode bridge so loader slip power is taken to the diode bridge where it is converted to dc so it is being converted to dc this is what is happening in rotor slip power uh, this is what is happening here okay second point third point after converting the dc what we can do so dc power is then fed to the to you can see where it is taken it is taken to the dc motor you can observe that so fed to the dc motor now this dc motor if you observe it is then coupled to the slip ring induction motor okay so dc motor which is mechanically coupled to induction motor okay slip ring induction motor it is coupled so we are taking dc here dc is fed to the dc motor dc motor which is which in turn is coupled to the uh, the induction motor now the fourth point so what of the torque is supplied to load will be equal to torque produced by induction motor and torque produced by the dc motor so both the things are since it is coupled so the torque supplied to the load will be equal to the torque produced by the induction motor as well as the dc motor speed can be controlled by here you can observe the field of the dc motor so speed control is obtained by controlling field current okay of what this dc motor field current is there so that is possible now for large speed range what we have to do see for large speed variations we have to control it right so instead of this diode bridge we can use the thyristor bridge we have used in the previous this thing that is rabies drive right thyristor bridge that thyristor bridge can be uh, put in instead of put instead of this one that is diode bridge okay the so thyristor bridge can be used for large power large speed radiation okay a larger speed range if you want you can use it like that okay next point we can write that it provides the constant power constant power control and this drive constant power control is obtained that also point you can just mention it